So to start with, I have my ingredients already on. These are my potatoes, and I'm actually boiling them in the skin. And the reason being is that I don't want the water to get into the potatoes. I need my potatoes to be reasonably dry for this dish. The other ingredients I have are, of course, spinach, and a little bit of egg, flour, salt and pepper, and that's about it. I simply wilt the spinach over a high heat for about two minutes. And then I rice the potatoes, but of course, you can mash them. That's lovely. And the next ingredient then is quite a lot of flour. So in goes the flour and some beaten egg, salt, Potatoes always take quite a bit of salt, so in goes salt and pepper. And the final ingredient is the spinach, which has, yes, it's cooled down, so I can squeeze that and add it. This is very much a dough, and so to dry it out even a little more, just add some more flour and knead the flour in. And then you just get your knife. a simple way to use potatoes. And then it's into some salted boiling water and when the gnocchi float, they're ready. How easy is that? So to serve them we need sauce. We can use butter, we can use um, a lovely tomato sauce, you can make a delicious gorgonzola sauce with melted gorgonzola and cream. You really don't need a huge amount with these because the flavour is in the gnocchi. A simple sauce of olive oil, garlic, tomato passata, a little bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and some torn basil. That's all you need. That's beautiful. The one thing about gnocchi is it's so hearty that you really don't need much of it. I mean, that's plenty for me. And I always like to finish it with a nice bit of Parmesan. And let's try it with a little bit of Parmesan. That is so homely. It's so delicious. So easy to make. And it's a whole new angle on potatoes.